Hello again. In this video, I'll introduce the topic of writing and loading your own Multos apps using the Smart Deck SDK. Once loaded, apps can run in a number of different modes. Today, we're going to look at an app that runs in the event-driven embedded mode. This is the mode you would use if using a trust anchor as the main microcontroller in an IoT device such as a sensor. Using the link shown below, download and open the Tutorials workspace and select the Timed Blink app. The first thing to notice is the code that handles the startup event, i.e. the code that is run after power on or a reset. Here it sets up the GPIO pin connected to the LED. Next it creates a timer and then it registers interest in that timer. That is to say, the app will be called every time the registered timer runs down to zero. This is where the registered event is handled. In this example, it simply flashes the LED and restarts the timer. The CAPI, however, provides a rich selection of features, including hardware-based cryptography support and multiple I.O. options to enable your device to operate securely. By default, the toolchain compiles and links the application into a debug file. That then has to be downloaded into the chip. HTERM is the tool to use for that. It's up to you when and how you call it. In timed blink, there is a batch file to run from the command line. In other projects, it is run automatically when starting the debugger. Note that the jumper JP5 needs to be fitted when programming. Once programmed, remove the jumper and reset by toggling the power switch. The blinking LED shows that the program is working. So, spend some time going through the other tutorial projects. Each is designed to introduce one element of programming the Multos Trust Anchor. That's it for today. Bye for now.